Hello everyone, and welcome to our video today. In this episode, we will explore an intriguing question, what happens when we supply direct current, or DC power, to a transformer? We're all familiar with transformers being used in alternating current, AC, systems, but what if we decide to connect a DC source instead? Let's dive deeper and uncover the effects of applying DC power to a transformer. Before we delve into the topic, Let's take a moment to recap what transformers are and how they work. A transformer is an electrical device that transfers electrical energy between two or more circuits through electromagnetic induction. It consists of two coils of wire, known as primary and secondary windings, wrapped around a common iron core. 2. Transformers and AC Power Transformers are primarily designed for use in AC systems to step up or step down the voltage levels as needed. AC power, as you may know, constantly alternates between positive and negative cycles, creating a changing magnetic field within the transformer's core. This changing magnetic field induces a voltage in the secondary winding, allowing power transfer from one circuit to another. Now, let's explore what happens when we connect a DC power source to a transformer. DC power, unlike AC, has a constant voltage polarity meaning there is no continuous fluctuation between positive and negative cycles. So, what happens when we feed a transformer with DC? When a transformer is supplied with DC power, a significant difference arises. Since DC power does not have the alternating magnetic field associated with AC, there is no voltage induction in the secondary winding. This means that the transformer fails to transfer power from the primary to the secondary circuit, resulting in no usable output. However, it's important to note that when DC power is applied, the primary winding still creates a constant magnetic field within the transformer's core. As a result, a current known as the magnetization current is present. This current circulates within the primary winding, but it does not transfer power to the secondary winding. Instead, it serves to magnetize the core. Applying DC power to a transformer can have various consequences, depending on the design and specifications of the transformer. One notable consequence is the increased heat generation due to the magnetization current flowing continuously in the primary winding. This increased heat can be detrimental to the overall efficiency and lifespan of the transformer. Additionally, the continuous flow of current through the windings and core in a DC scenario can lead to potential damage. Transformers are typically designed to handle AC power, which allows for zero crossings and minimizes the stress on the windings. In the absence of these zero crossings in a DC setup, the windings and core may experience higher stress levels, potentially resulting in insulation breakdown or other issues. While DC power is not suitable for power transmission in conventional transformers, it's important to mention that there are specialized transformers known as DC to DC converters. These transformers are specifically designed to convert one DC voltage level to another. DC to DC converters use different principles than traditional AC transformers, such as switching circuits or pulse width modulation techniques. These specialized transformers employ control mechanisms to convert the input DC voltage to a different output DC voltage level, making them valuable in various applications such as electronics, power supplies, and renewable energy systems. To conclude, applying DC power to a conventional AC transformer results in no voltage induction in the secondary winding, rendering it unable to transfer power. Instead, the primary winding generates a magnetization current that circulates within the transformer, primarily serving to magnetize the core. This DC setup can lead to increased heat generation and potential damage to the windings and core due to the continuous flow of current. It's crucial to understand that transformers are specifically designed for AC power systems, where the alternating magnetic field allows for efficient power transfer. When it comes to DC power, specialized transformers called DC to DC converters are used to convert one DC voltage level to another. These converters employ different principles, such as switching circuits or pulse width modulation, to achieve the desired voltage transformation. DC to DC converters are widely used in various applications, including renewable energy systems, battery charging, electric vehicles, and telecommunications. 
They play a crucial role in ensuring efficient power conversion and distribution in DC-based systems. In conclusion, applying DC power to a traditional AC transformer results in no voltage induction in the secondary winding, rendering it ineffective in power transfer. The magnetization current circulates within the primary winding, primarily magnetizing the core. This DC setup can lead to increased heat generation and potential damage. However, specialized transformers known as DC to DC converters are designed to handle DC power and facilitate voltage transformation in specific applications. Understanding the limitations and applications of transformers in different power systems helps us appreciate their role in electrical engineering. Thank you for watching, and if you have any further questions, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you for joining us today as we explored the fascinating topic of applying DC power to a transformer. We hope you found this video informative and insightful. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Stay curious, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.